Hello and welcome to another eight minute drill. Today we're going to talk about storytelling and I'm going to run through some images that I made, quite a few images, and I'm going to talk about some of my thought processes behind making them. So if you're brand new to photography, this is going to give you a pretty good idea about how you might think about your storytelling with your photographs. Okay, so um, one of the things that I like to do is emulate other photographers of the past and the work that they created. And a lot of the work you're gonna see was inspired by San Francisco photographer, Fred Lyon. He worked mostly between 1940 and 1960 in San Francisco with a four by five camera. A lot of the images you're gonna see here was made with um, a crop sensor camera and um, a lens baby optic 80 and what I wanted to do was create uh, soft focus and slices of sharp focus to make the, the images more interesting here my goal here was I was as I was standing here you know and I was going through what I call the absorption phase it's a process uh, one it's matter of fact it's the first process in the creative zone and if you followed my um, broadcast and in um, a lot of the material that I teach you'll know that the creative zone is something that I talk about a lot. I've been talking about it for years. And uh, this is one of the first steps is absorbing what you see. So I saw the older building in the background, the older sign in the foreground. And I thought, you know what, this would be a great photo because um, it would be am am ambiguous in time if I cropped out that building in the back. And that's what I loved about this particular photo. As I made my rounds, so I'm working in a circle, right? So I, I walk around the corner and I see this alleyway and um, alleyways are very interesting, especially in the early mornings. And these dogs, they would not take their attention away from me. They, they barked at me a few times. And I was like, you know what? This is an opportunity because Fred Lyon actually photographed a guy walking down the alleyways, one of his popular photos. And, and the guy has his dog on a leash. So that prompted this. It was a blessing from the camera gods because what are the odds of me finding someone in the alleyway in this particular area? Because it's mostly, um, you know, like hotels and stuff like that, uh, finding something like this. So this was a pretty amazing find. And this one as well. So I'm just using lines and uh, silhouetting. This guy popped out of a doorway as I was, you know, just standing here and I immediately went to work very quickly to make this photograph so I, this is the one that I thought was the best because you know it represents uh, photographic technique in terms of scale and um, the, just the composition and, and the timing of it I just thought it was great and if you look up at the top you'll see where it says Irish bank you know so there's a lot of contradictions here why would it why would there be an Irish bank in an alleyway so as I turn the corner I mean it's just hey the camera gods are lighting me up here this is not staged. This lady is standing here just like this, and I immediately go to work. Literally getting it working on the exposure first, and then just going into the positioning and the composition. And, and I'm looking at, I'm using the sidewalk as a guide and making sure that my slice of focus is completely running across her. And uh, she stood here and she did a couple poses and then just abruptly walked away. So as I exited the alley, I went back around to where I'd started and there was a Starbucks across the street and immediately I started putting everything together. Man with a dog, lady standing in the alleyway smoking a cigarette, man with technology in the coffee shop. And this was, this completed my circle. And, it, you know, sometimes you have to think ahead. Sometimes you've got to um, think about what you photographed before and connect the dots. That's literally street photography. That's literally storytelling. And then you connect the dots. So you're either connecting the dots forward or in reverse. The thing that drew me to this one particular image was this, the opportunity sign. Um, because this is your opportunity to buy coffee, right? And the lights and, and the lights over the man's head, that really drew me in. And But... I really just saw the opportunity sign, you know, and that opportunity is important in life, period. I've always been fascinated with shooting transportation, whether it be planes, boats, trains. And uh, here I'm in the Castro district and it's, it's super early in the morning and I see these people, they're so far apart. And that's, that, that's actually the name of this image, far apart. They're so far apart and they're even divided. 
but they're going to the same, they're going in the same direction. They might even be sitting next to each other, depending on the, the circumstances on the bus. And it's funny how we are so far apart, but we're so close together. This is the bus that they traveled away on. So um, it finally came. And the thing that really drove me to this image was the lines. So if you look at the crosswalk, you know, there's a, a Z pattern that starts from uh, the viewer's left, goes up, across, and then the bus completes the line. And it's pretty amazing what you can do with lines, shapes, textures, um, motion, uh uh, selective focus, all those things. Very ambiguous photo here because it looks like the uh, bike rider is actually in the middle of the street. He's not actually, this is the angle that I took to make it look that way. We can use photos and visuals to basically be deceptive and, and, and tell a different story based on just the camera angle alone. Oh, this is, you know, I, I just was walking across the street and happened to see this. And, and let me tell you what it represents. The girl, the young baby, the young girl coming in, the old man on his way out at some point. And then there's another man in the, in the background. Um, he's probably in between those two in terms of age. And then we have the age of the trolley car, which I think those were built in the 1960s. Right. So we have an aged photo, aging photo, aging forward. You can think of a lot of names for that. Fred Lyon photographed a lot of people and uh, people walking down the street. And that that's what inspired this particular image. Just cropped this way really tight. Uh, and, and what I wanted to do was create a unique matting for this as well. But you notice the lines at the bottom, the line pointing to the person, the scale of the person. Um, I, I just love those type of photos, especially with a tilt shift because it makes them even smaller. And this is what you can do to manipulate your story as well. Same thing here. Actually, one of my, another one of my favorites cropped in the same way. Notice the uh, connection to the person in the cable car. They're so close in the photograph, but so far apart. So far apart. My name is Keith B. Dixon. This has been the eight minute drill. And the thing that I want you guys to take away from this is use your imagination, think forward, backwards, and um, make a lot of images, make a lot of images, shoot from the heart, shoot from the heart. Thank you for listening. And I will see you on the next eight minute drill. Peace.